I really believe in is sled work. Now, we do several different things on the sled. We'll start off with the explosion, points of explosion drill. We're just working on unlocking their hips. And again, just with offensive line play, you have to have explosive hips. These are our tight ends here. They do an outstanding job of rolling their hips. You can't play O-line with your hips behind you. You have to learn to unlock your hips. Again, that's, this is a drill that we do every day. All right, we'll graduate into the flat back from the fit. We want to come off with a flat back, unlocking their hips. Still, you want to get a flat back, a good, nice fit, flat back, unlock your hips, and short choppy steps with a drive. Again, you don't have to drive it long. All right, if you're trying to work their legs, you can go a little longer, but you want to emphasize doing the drill right. You want to see those guys with flat backs, Coming off, short choppy steps, wide base, unlocking their hips. All right, then the next phase will come from the ground. Again, all this is gradual. We'll come from the ground now. We'll come from, now we came from uh, the ex points of explosion to the fit, now from the ground, from the drive. All right, you want short choppy steps, really exploding into that sled. Again, very, very important, short choppy steps, wide base. You want your young men hustling in and out the drill. Then we'll take it to where we zone, right? All right, we did straight ahead drive block. Now we'll offset left or offset right, and we'll zone block. We'll take a zone step. We'll take a zone step, which is very, very important. We'll, we'll, we'll just change up the drills that we do on the sled every day. But we're going to try to get some sled work. Not long, but again, we want to get those guys. arms back. I don't want to see them cocking. Alright, the next one we'll do, we'll do where I kind of get them chain direction. I don't want to see these men stay in a position a long time. I want to see these guys change directions. I want to be a, see them uh, uh, get off one side and get to another side quick without staying on that on that one leg long. I want to see them change direction. You'll see some linebacker coaches do this drill, but I like to do this drill because I want my guys to be able to change directions. I believe that's important. And they always got to finish through Left-handed stands. I think that's important. They want to be versatile. All right, another drill we do, you can use this in the weight room. You can use this in the drill that you do just kind of to get the guys loosened up. But, you know, offensive line play, you, you got to have a great punch. All right, and we want to emphasize a great punch. Now, I'll start this drill off with a nice stagger. I'll have a stagger first, just, just feet still. Then I'll graduate into short, choppy steps with a stagger. I want to see those guys really stroking it. I really want to see them punching, really delivering the blow, because that's what this thing is all about. All right, a leverage drill that we do here is it's a big time drill. You know, it's all about the same type deal. All right, we're working, trying to get lower. Short choppy steps, wide base, working on regaining leverage. The defensive linemen, just as well as us, they're trying to get inside hands. They're trying to be lower. The same thing we're trying to do. So it's a little drill that we do to get warmed up. We want to emphasize on getting low, replacing those hands, getting back inside, and regaining leverage. Big time drill for us. We do this, again, everyday drills. Drills that we try to do every day. All right, you can do these drills in the weight room. You can do these drills on your practice field. You can do these drills at home. These are drills you can do every day. But again, hands back inside, pad level low, replacing your hands, short choppy steps. Notice again, these men have short choppy steps. It's been programmed in their minds to have short choppy steps with wide bases. It's programmed in them. I mean, it's like, it's like now. When I get my freshmen coming in, they have to learn to do it.